Hey friends around the world, June 1st. I'm gonna record on my phone here so the quality's not great, but I'll skip past all the vlogging and personal stuff and just get to what you guys really care about, which is the climate. Um, this new report came out yesterday quantifying the human toll on the climate and other aspects like planetary boundaries, fresh water, those including fresh water supply, um, pollution, biodiversity, so on and so forth. And we've crossed like seven out of nine of them for safe, tolerable. I can already hear the, the normies. Oh, it's going to be like that movie WALL-E, right? Yeah, but like a hundred times worse? So crude. Okay, and before I go on, I do recognize that the people that subscribe to my content typically are probably highly sensitive people, and that's not a diss or an ad hominem. That's really saying there's people in this world, this has been quantified, like 18,000 other species exhibit this, think about what they do before they do something. They feel things more intensely than people around them. You know the feeling when you have a vibe and you say something and people around you, like some clueless brain dead normie, turns to you and says, you think too much. That's like the worst thing you could say to somebody who's a highly sensitive person, who feels things more intensely in tune with other people's uh, emotions, exhibits empathy. You know, it's difficult because as being a highly sensitive person, it's like you're processing so much that oftentimes you can't even come up with a response. It's so nerve wracking when you fight with someone or you have a disagreement with someone who's not highly sensitive and they just brain you know, spatter at you, okay, and, and you, you're processing it, and you have like 10 things you want to say back, but you don't really choose one until like a day later. Yeah. Just have to, you know, set boundaries. But the emphasis of this video, which I am certain Paul and other channels are going to do a video on, it's like, how many more reports of these do we need to, do we need to see? Okay, and the unfortunate thing is that the heat waves and the cli extreme climate events, they're happening, but the temperature is so gradual and slow, you know, going up only like by a, a few point, you know, of a degrees every year, people will hardly notice that unless you're a highly sensitive person or, you know, you're not completely brain dead with an IQ of less than 90. Um, you notice these things, and it's like, how many more do we have to see? And furthermore, you know, to convince anybody, because you go out in public and, you know, business as usual everywhere. McDonald's is just busy all over the planet, all right? And to be the one to bear this responsibility of, of, of arboring this information and telling it like it is, it's not really, it's inconvenient now. It's not really respected, you know, really. I get people that, you know, oh, you're doing environmental channel, okay, I don't really care. Oh, you you drive a convertible and have an $80,000 paying job? Yeah, yeah, let's date. You know, let's hang out. All right, I'm being, I'm being snide. But for real, that's the, that's the level of literal fucking hell it is living now. It, feel, it is a literal living hell in that matter. And, the, and they're saying things in these reports like, for generations to come, there isn't generations to come, we're going to cross safe threshold by 2030, all right, 1.5 degrees, and loss of habitat, from what my understanding is, is exactly what it implies. Large quantities of people across the globe losing access to fresh water, to habitable ambient temperatures, to uh, food supply, gasoline perhaps, you know, 
even if even if the minimum measures of what they claim they you know i'm skeptical of the of the governing bodies too what's the message oh i know the message already look a little bit deeper it's all fossil fuel influenced to make you believe that it'll be bad but not too bad and we can still turn around i see no change at all anywhere okay even this new deal would give mansion a pipeline all right we're still doing this shit we're still doing this and so 1.5 is the, like the critical threshold and we'll see hundreds of millions of people uh frantically scrambling across the globe you know well that's not oh yeah my little brain can't process that you know that does that means that wall be peaceful and you know work our way out you know and relocate people you know because because we're not in a literal fucking war with russia or china for that matter who just scrambled a, a u.s jet near the border it'll be fine yeah no we'll just we'll reorient people yeah like where do people people come to my channel and still think and still think we're gonna be okay still think we're gonna be okay after habitat is lost for mil hundreds of millions of people that we're gonna hold hands and saying kubaya and it'll be fine even though countries have nuclear arsenal up the ass right now these aren't my opinions this is real I, I report reality the objective truth is that tensions have never been higher in the world and people are more vulnerable than ever. We're, we've crossed most planetary boundaries. Okay. So, again, these reports keep coming, back, keep coming out. How many more do we need? It just whoosh, lost, lost to the public. Most of the public has zero effing clue about what is happening to their globe to their future i've lived through it this is a trauma that i live through to share with you guys so you're not alone and indeed it is commonly religious folk who or perhaps of the christian denomination who believe that this is okay this was meant to happen I'm sorry, we have different objectives. I thought I was going to live a long life and have a, a fruitful ex experience. You know, like a long, lived-out experience. That's no guarantee. You know, anything, I, and that's the real shitty part, is that, like, anything you say now in this post-true society can be contradicted. Well, you knew you were going to die anyways. Well, I can die tomorrow. I mean, I've just heard it all. I've heard every kind of lambasting bullshit back towards critical thinking in conclusion, you just got a few more years. We aren't changing anything. And then another report comes out showing that aerosol masking or reducing to green tech. If we went to green technology, aerosols would fall out of the sky and we'd be dead soon. On a personal note, I uh, zeroed my rifle to 36 yards. I think my first plan of action when our power supply goes down and nukes start flying is to, well, if I can, hunker down for a week or two while everyone scrambles. Uh, and then when I'm ready, venture out and probably, I know everyone's gonna ransack the uh, sporting goods store for guns and ammo and camping equipment immediately, but I'm gonna go and steal an RV a nice one. Um, I know you're thinking, like, where the gas will be. I'll siphon it. I'll find no matter. I'll, you'll want to be mobile. Um, this is because I don't have land to go to. I don't have an escape route. And this is about 2030. I would say 2030. Uh, I'm going to be stealing an RV and trying to drive off into somewhere where I could live for another week or two. It's going to be awful. You know, I meet people that are... Uh, I met someone recently that's like a, a positivity junkie. Oh, I gotta be positive, I gotta be positive. Oh, even if it's the end, I'm gonna like 
party at the end. Yeah, you can do that, but you're also probably going to be suffer. You're going to be screaming and suffering. It's not going to be pleasant. I've met multiple women like that that are like, my ex was kind of like that. It was like, oh, you know, I'll choose when I die. You know, it's like predictable. No, it's going to be complete chaos pandemonium. Okay. No gas, no f shit on the shelves. Like people killing each other at the sporting goods store. All right. That's 2030. But God and religion and, you know, it's okay and it's supposed to happen and this is the, the second coming and, you know. All right. I'm being snide. Happy Friday Eve. I'll talk to you soon. See ya.